Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter. This is the 18th session and today we are going to see how to run scheduled and sequential execution in JMeter. So uh, we are going to learn today how can we run a test case or a thread for a specific duration. We will see how can we sequence our thread groups and we can run them sequentially. We will also see how we can add websites or any application sequentially to a performance test and all this is required to create a very realistic and practical performance test on JMeter. Okay, so let us begin and let us see the very first thing that we are going to learn is how to run a test case for a specific duration. Okay, uh, let me go to my JMeter and I will create a thread group here and let me just add a sampler and a very simple sampler HTTP request and I will add any website here so let me go to any website okay so I'm going to add this site here I do not need the protocol that's it okay let me also add a listener to view the results. I will add view results in table and I will add one more listener view results in tree. Okay. Let me just run it to verify. I'll just save it as well. Okay, so yes, my request is successful. I am getting response code 200. So uh, this is running fine. Okay, so now how to run this for a specific duration? So let me go to my thread group. Okay, earlier we have been increasing the number of users or we were uh, putting some particular count of iterations into our thread group. Let me just make the number of users as 5 and in the loop count I am saying forever I will not put any iteration here but here I will click on scheduler checkbox okay and here I will give some duration let us say I will give 10 seconds okay and now let me go to my request and run it again and we can see our request has started and it is running my thread group one is running with five users and it is still running and now it has stopped okay now let us see the start time it started at 5 29 59 and it ended at 5 36 so from 29 59 to 36 it is a duration of 10 seconds so exactly for 10 seconds our test plan ran and then it stopped okay so this is what we have done so I'll just add the step here so what we have done is we have gone to our thread group and we have made loop count as forever so inside our thread group make loop count as forever and then step 2 what we have done is we have selected the scheduler checkbox so select scheduler checkbox and then step 3 that we did was add duration in seconds okay add duration which is in seconds so this is how we can run a test for a specific duration okay uh, let us now see how to run performance test sequentially okay so let me just add my steps here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this thread group and I'm going to paste it again in the same test plan and let me make this thread group as thread group 1 this HTTP request as HTTP request 1 
and the other thread group as thread group 2 and the request inside this thread group I will make as request 2 okay uh, we can also add some other web page or website here so let me just go to some other web page for now and I will just add this path here okay so now, now we have a different request as well okay so now what we have to do is we have to run the performance test sequentially what does this mean is I will start with thread group 1 and thread group 2 should only start after thread group 1 has completed okay so for that what I can do is I am not changing the earlier parameters I am keeping it for 10 seconds and thread group 2 is also running for 10 seconds but thread group 2 should start after the first one has got completed so for that what I am going to do is I will go to test plan and you see this option run thread groups consecutively I will just check this so I will go to test plan and select run thread groups consecutively okay and now I'll clear the early results and run it again okay so you can see as of now HTTP request 1 is getting executed for the first 10 seconds and only after 10 seconds we will get HTTP request 2 getting executed okay so now we, we can see request 2 has started only after 10 seconds okay let us look at it in more details I am going to view results in table and here I can see exactly what is happening so the start time you can see it is 3354 and we have only thread group 1 getting executed until the first 10 seconds which is around uh, 34 2 seconds so the first 10 seconds only thread group 1 was getting executed and then after that we started thread group 2 and it again ran for the 10 seconds and so the total duration was 20 seconds and the execution was sequential okay so this is how we can run our performance test sequentially in jmeter okay let us look at our third topic how to add website sequentially to a performance test okay so let me add a step here now let us also understand what is the need of uh, this particular application of adding any website or in that case any application sequentially to a performance test what we are going to do here is we will start our performance test with one thread group which will have some web application and then after some time we will add another application and it is not uh, sequential in the way that the first thread will stop and then second will start but the third thread, uh, thread will keep on executing and we will keep on adding other threads so it is kind of sequential addition okay and the uh, reason we have to do it is there are multiple applications where you will need to check the load on the server or the server farm where websites or users are getting sequentially added okay so let us see what we can do here is I am clearing all my earlier results okay I'll go to test plan and I will clear this option run thread groups consecutively so I do not need this now I will go to my first thread group and here I will say duration is 20 seconds okay and in my thread group 2 I will say duration is 10 seconds but startup delay is also for 10 seconds okay so what I am going to do is what I am trying to tell the tool is start the performance test with thread group 1 and run it for an entire duration of 20 seconds and 20 seconds is the complete duration of my test 
but head group 2 should start after a delay of 10 seconds and should run for the remaining duration which is 10 seconds okay let us start our test and let us see how does it respond so it has started with the first HTTP request and for the first 10 seconds we are only getting HTTP request 1 and now after 10 seconds we are getting a mix of HTTP request 1 and 2 let us look into more details in the table listener and yes here we can see that the test started at around 37.16 and until the time of first 10 seconds we only had thread group 1 or HTTP request 1 getting executed and after 10 seconds we had added the second website web application and now both thread group 1 which has uh, application 1 and thread group 2 which has web application 2 are getting executed for the last 10 seconds of our testing okay so uh, what exactly we have to do here is add duration which will be the max time of your uh, test case to first thread group ok and then to all consecutive thread groups add delay and then we also have to add duration which will be max minus delay okay so for example i have started my execution and i want to run my test case for 30 seconds so for the first thread i will add the duration which is equal to max which is 30 seconds for the second one what i will do is i will add a delay of 10 seconds okay and then I will add a duration which is equal to max minus delay so it is equal to 30 minus 10 which is equal to 20 seconds okay so this is the delay and this is the duration so uh, suppose I also have a third group a third thread group and uh, I want to add a delay of 20 seconds so the duration will be 30 minus 20 which is equal to 10 seconds so see what is happening here is we are running our uh, test case for 30 seconds for the first 10 seconds only one application is running after 10 seconds a second application is added and after 20 seconds the third application is added and for the last 10 seconds we have all the three applications running okay so uh, this is how we can create a test plan which where we sequentially add our applications okay so this is how we do all this practical implementation of performance testing in jmeter hope you like it thank you